Okay, today we're coming to you from downtown Mishawaka. I don't know how this audio is going to sound, so hopefully it comes out pretty good. Uh, we're going to try this new barbecue place that just opened up a couple of days ago. Used to be in Niles, and they moved to downtown Mishawaka to a prime location right across the street from the cop shop. Uh, it's a pretty small place from the looks of it, so I think we might have to um, do an outdoor filming. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see what's going on. Hopefully I don't get hit by a car while I'm crossing the street here. Uh, we'll come back to you with some food. All right, I just picked it up. It took about 15 minutes or so for the carry out. They were super busy, super busy. So let's see if we can find a spot to eat it and um, sit down. All right, so I found a spot out here, Central Park here in Mishawaka where I can sit down and eat and there's nobody around not that it would matter if there was but they were super busy in the restaurant so there there wasn't a seat available for me um so let me kind of show you what i ordered here and let me flip this around all right so i ordered the uh, smoked jalapeno poppers they are uh, stuffed with uh, pulled pork and bacon wrapped and cream cheese in there Got some mustard and some regular barbecue sauce. And uh, I got the brisket combo here. Comes with the brisket, the cornbread, and I got potato salad and mac and cheese from my sides. So let's see how everything stacks up here. It all looks really good. Um, so let me flip this around and we'll get some impressions. All right, hopefully people don't look at me weird out here filming, but hey, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do to get this, uh, Get this YouTube money. So here we go. We got the uh, mac and cheese. Looks really good. It looks like it's got some bacon in it. We can get that. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Um, I would like a little more cheese in it, but. When I think like barbecue mac and cheese, this is kind of what I think of like, you know, not necessarily the bacon, but kind of that baked consistency and, you know, getting, uh, getting a little extra flavor in there rather than like craft box mac and cheese. Let's try this potato salad next here. Looks like they did some red skin potato salad. Uh, pretty runny sauce on it. Is there anything else in here? Nah, it just looks like it's just potatoes and... Oh, no, there is a little bit of egg. That one's not as good. That one's not as good. It's, um, before we get into this brisket, let's try one of these jalapeno poppers. Now I'm, I'm a wimp. I've said it before when it comes to spice. So let's, uh, let's hope these aren't super hot. Hmm. <coughs> Oh yeah, it's got some heat to it. <clears throat> Holy cow. Ooh. <clears throat> we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. That's a little hot. And then, um, let's just try the brisket by itself. Got a nice smoke ring on there. Got a little char on the outside. Yeah, look at that. That's what a brisket should look like on the outside. That char. Nice big pink smoke ring
That's a good brisket. Wanted to get the rib tips, but they were they were sold out of rib tips. They were sold out of their gumbo, and they um, they said that they were running out of the ribs. They only had two slabs of ribs left. Now, granted, this place opened two hour two and a half hours ago, so they opened up at eleven, and they're already running out. So that's pretty pretty bad. Well, good for them, but you gotta get there early. All right, let's try these sauces. We'll wrap this up. First, I got the mustard. There's that mustard sauce on there. A little pepper in there. A little cayenne, it looks like. That's, that's probably going to end up being my favorite. I, I like a good mustard sauce. This brisket is just falling apart. Yeah, that's good. That's good mustard sauce. And then I got their original. Let's give this a shot. It's that regular barbecue sauce looks a little sweet not a whole lot of spice in there I see and I was right got a little pepper in it but otherwise it's pretty sweet overall all right let me uh stop filming so I'll stop getting weird looks and we'll uh, come back with the final review here. Back when we're done. Can I just get a small um, peanut butter milkshake? If I had to do it, the jalapeno poppers were too hot. Too spicy for me. So I had to get something milky and creamy. So I got a milkshake from Steak and Shake. So, what did I think of prized pig? I think it was pretty good. The jalapeno poppers were way too spicy for me, but I could tell the flavor was there. They must not take out a lot of the membrane or the seeds or something in there, because I've had jalapeno poppers at other places and they just are not that hot. The brisket was really good. The flavor was great. There was a little bit of fat on there, a little bit more than what I would normally see, but I'm not gonna complain about that because Every piece of brisket's gonna be different. It wasn't like it wasn't trimmed correctly. It wasn't a ton of fat on the outside. It's just I must have gotten like a fatty slice of it. But that's okay. It, brisket's brisket. Fat means flavor. And flavor is delicious. The potato salad. Probably not gonna get that one again. Uh, it was just like potatoes and eggs with um, like a, a slaw type sauce instead of like a thicker you know mayonnaise based sauce like I'm used to that's all up to the individual some people are gonna like it some people aren't I just didn't think it tasted that good to me uh, the mac and cheese was delicious I would absolutely recommend getting the mac and cheese and hidden underneath the mac and cheese cup I didn't see it at first but there was a little pickle and I, I feel like they make the pickles themselves because it didn't look like any kind of store-bought or manufactured pickle from a, you know, a barrel that they're getting ordered. It, it, it felt like it was homemade. A really strong dill taste, and I like that with my barbecue. The sauces were really good. I'd recommend either of those sauces. I'm going to have to try other ones next time I go. Uh, overall, I would give uh, the prize pick a big thumbs up. And uh, I'd recommend trying it out. I think you'll like it if you give it a shot. Check it out, downtown Mishawaka, 114 Lincoln Way East. Tell them Man Time Eats sent you, even though they have no idea who I am. So, but hey, someday, maybe everybody will know who I am. We'll see you next time on the next food review. Peace out.